Hi, and welcome to Talking Life. I'm Raja, your excellence mentor on this journey called life. My goal on this channel is to make your life a lot simpler and easier and less stressful so you can live an outstanding one. We have a lot in life to worry about, so why don't we live it in an easier way? And I'm here to do so. So today is Tip Tuesday, and the tip of the day is time management. And this tip can work for anyone, but particularly for self-employed people or entrepreneurs. And the reason that I wanted to share this tip with you is because of a recent experience that I had myself. And then like when it happened to me, I said, oh my God, I have to talk about this on my channel and help other entrepreneurs with it. So recently I had to schedule a meeting with a person that asked to meet with me. And what happened is that I had even to drive half an hour to go and meet with her. And after an hour meeting, I realized that, oh, this was not what I was expecting, number one. And number two, there was a financial commitment to it. And the financial commitment was a lot. I'm not talking like 50 or 100 bucks. So when I finished that meeting, I came back home and I started thinking, oh my God, like I have to talk about this because when we are self-employed, you're going to find that you are wearing so many hats. And one of the hats that you will be wearing is the marketing hat and you have to go out meet with others, go to networking events, and meet with a lot of people for coffee, tea, or sometimes even for lunch or dinner. And what that does at the end of the day, especially if you are just starting up or you're a small business owner, it's gonna add a lot of financial stress to your life. So what I decided to do, which I totally forgot about this, like I needed to do this earlier, but it's never too late to learn anything new. And here is my tip for you. When you want to schedule a meeting with someone or someone wants to meet with you, you have to ask two questions. The first question, ask for the reason for the meeting, why they want to meet with you, and even maybe spend a minute or two asking them to elaborate because what happens a lot of people they tell you oh i will tell you when we meet or oh it's an opportunity for you oh you can't miss what i have to tell you be persistent it's okay you know what it's always when we start a business it's hard to do so it's hard to stand up for yourself it's hard to to be vigilant so this is what why i'm doing this i'm telling you this to save you a lot of heartache a lot of time that i spent myself over the years not doing so ask them about the meeting what is the purpose of it and what they want from you the second and very important question ask them if there is a financial commitment to what they're gonna offer you or talk about because usually as a small business owner, you don't have a lot of budget. Your budget is limited and you have planned it according to what you want to do. And if you go unprepared or unannounced from the other person, you have to pay some money for whatever service they're going to offer you then one of two things is going to happen. You're going to either be embarrassed and you're going to say yes, which means that is going to add more financial burden on you if you don't have room in your budget for it. And second thing is that you are going to say no. And if you said no, 
you may feel later guilty about it or you may feel bad because you you said no and a lot of business entrepreneurs they go through that feeling because really they want to help others and at times they think if i purchase this service or if i did this from this person they're gonna reciprocate and they're gonna come and do the same with me but what happens usually is not the case so they will not come back and purchase a service from you or a product and then you're gonna feel down you're gonna feel that you were not successful you're setting yourself up for failure if you don't do so so please ask those two questions and then from there you can decide if you want to meet with that person or not and if you still have room in your budget maybe you want to meet with them see what they have to offer and then you can decide then but you go with you knowing in your head and in your mind what's your budget that there is a financial commitment and then when you say yes or no you're gonna say it based on facts you don't want to be surprised you don't want to take in by surprise you go to a meeting and all of a sudden someone tells you oh by the way you have to pay this or that all right so this is this is my tip for you uh this tip can apply to anyone even if you don't have a business time is precious and time is money and it's time is the most precious commodity on earth you have only that much time, even though it's 24 hours in a day. So spend it wisely. And if you lose that energy, if you lose that time, you can't get it back. So think about it and God bless you. And I hope that this tip will help you in your daily life. And until I see you with another next tip, and another Tuesday, please don't forget to subscribe. Come and say hi to me on social media and visit my website. If you would like to learn about other tips or you want to talk about other issues, please comment below or send me an email and I will be more than happy to discuss that with you, especially if you are an entrepreneur woman that is trying to start your business, then I'll be more than happy to answer your question, uh, questions <laughs> or question and support you on this journey. Thank you. Peace and love to you. Until I see you next time. Bye-bye.